Trouble in marriage. What has Harry revealed about his relationship with Meghan becoming strained? Trouble in the marriage. To hell with the aristocracy. Harry's tell-all has caused friction at home with Meghan Markle. Hidden tensions in Sussex. Good morning and thank you for tuning in to the Royal Family News Update broadcast. He says he eliminated 400 unnecessary pages. Harry said in an interview on January 13 that his explosive memoir, Spare, could have been two books because he left out the most explosive stories. As it stands, it's hard to picture them forgiving him. A source claims that Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, was shocked by some of the secrets he shared in his bridge-burning tell-all, which broke records for first-day sales by selling 1.4 million copies in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Canada. She publicly shows her support for him, but privately, the backlash from the book has caused tension. Meghan is terrified that Harry's careless comments will destroy their reputation and undo all their hard work in California. It was ironic that the memoir was her brainchild. According to the source, the Queen encouraged him to write about his journey because she thought it would help him process his emotions from losing his mother and everything he went through at the hands of the monarchy. Obviously, she also wanted him to share the story of how they fell in love. More than that was provided by him. The source claims that Harry got carried away, describing how his frank description of his frostbitten penis was mortifying to her, especially because he keeps getting asked about them in interviews about the book. Meghan questioned if Harry crossed the line when he publicly insulted his family, especially his brother William. Furthermore, she doesn't really have any issues with Charles, despite Harry's harsh treatment of him, she says. More importantly, the ex-actress knows how the system works after being vilified for years in the press. Despite Harry's repeated assertions that he makes his own decisions, she is always held responsible whenever he acts in defiance of the royal family. In the book, nothing changes. An insider claims that Meghan, who was conspicuously absent from the promotional press Harry did, is actually planning on writing her story in her own words to set the record straight. This is what Harry intended to achieve with Spare, but it stirred up so much drama, as the source puts it. As for Meghan's husband, she tried to keep it a secret source. I told you so. They discussed it, and he reluctantly agreed not to drop any more major truth bombs. But I have my doubts that this will hold. He can't wait to spill the beans, no matter what the consequences. What he craves, obviously, is your focus. He has a positive outlook on revealing himself to the world. He hopes that by breaking his silence, people will see the responsible adult he really is. When he does this, he exposes his true character. He is open and honest with complete strangers about his emotions, but he is distant from his own loved ones. By including everyone in his inner circle, he breaks down barriers. Hell tell you anything you want to know. What he says within the palace walls about his wife, children, and substance abuse is the initial source of tension. Rather than seek professional help, he treats himself with illegal drugs. He's ruining himself by hanging out with drug dealers, strangers, and people he doesn't know very well. This is the message he hopes well take away from what we read, what we hear, and what we comprehend. Narcissistic tendencies make him a troubled person overall. To make people think he is one of them, he disguises his identity by donning a mask. Whenever he goes out in public now, he hides behind a mask of hatred. He has a double life. He brings his anger problems, his biases, and his judgments with him everywhere he goes. His current state of being a man-child is the subject of the book. His writings, his conversations, and his outbursts all reveal a troubled middle-aged man-child. There is no warrior to be found in this man. He betrays his family, country, and military. He is much more like a child than an adult and requires constant attention and supervision. People are making fun of his book, so clearly he's a cook. As a result, I don't think anything short of King Charles III and Prince William groveling on their knees before the sad couple would be acceptable. And if that did occur, I have no doubt that the royal family would soon have another series of unfortunate events for which they would need to issue an apology. You are not in a rational situation. The Megster and Hasno both want blood, and they won't stop until they get it. It's time to cut the head off the snake and leave this whole ordeal in the past. People with personality disorders, like Meghan, 
have their own set of rigid and highly abnormal thought processing, whereas low IQ people, like Harry, rely heavily on emotional processing. In addition, he can be convinced of almost anything. Because narcs don't plan ahead unless they're Machiavellian, they operate on a need to basis, and dimwits cannot characterize and articulate what they want. I seriously doubt they actually know what they want, although it is almost certainly capitulation. The first time was when Harry complained to Oprah that after several phone calls Charles told him to put it in writing, and the second time was when he said the ball is in their court. Both times, Harry has preferred that an offer be made to him rather than him dictating terms. In negotiations, he is completely dishonest because he has no soft lines or hard lines. Instead, he says things like, lob it over, he'll try it for size, and if my gut says no, that's it. Nothing you say or do will ever be adequate because no amount of apologies, no matter how heartfelt, can make things right again. It's like trying to reach an agreement when the parameters and endpoints are always shifting. Untenable. The only way to deal with such people is to either clearly state your boundaries and the consequences for crossing them, such as one more peep out of you against the family and your titles are toast, or to simply disengage. Willie will do anything to keep his loved ones safe. Harry's family was eligible for the same discount. Complete safety at all times. Leaving for the United States wasn't a measure taken to safeguard his loved ones. It made the situation more dangerous for them. It's a safe bet that the Taliban will launch an attack on him if they decide he's a target. Harry has always been this way, but when he left the palace, his narcissism was on full display. He admits to punching his bodyguard in the book. Just who is responsible for that? Who hits other people, especially their workers? Narcissists. Egomaniacs. Harry says and does some astonishingly self-centered things in his book and interviews, and he doesn't even seem to bat an eye. Man in his thirties taking advantage of his pregnant wife's supply of laughing gas. His sexist portrayal of sexual awakening. Laughing at one of his school's instructors. Eliminating the Taliban. No longer was he receiving allowances from dad. Even though he's retired from royal duties, he still has the right to be protected. After giving Meghan some lip gloss, Kate made an unamused face. Since both Willie and Kate enjoy watching suits, you would think they would have adored Meghan. Willie's baldness was shocking, and he was losing his mother's good looks. Infinitely, 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 etc. I am hoping they don't stop because that would have disastrous consequences. They can't seem to stop spreading the false and humiliating stories that provide them with financial security. In fact, they wouldn't know where to go if they didn't constantly complain. Just what else do they have? These two are not in any way a power couple. The way they look is awful. The couple is not filthy rich. They aren't making any serious efforts to save the planet. They lie all the time. They're always taking steps back. Zero accountability on their part. They are completely hollow. They're irrelevant and can be ignored. Tell me, what do they have? They've dug up the last of it out of malice and fabrication. Soon it will fade away, and then what will they have? Nothing.